hello my dear friends welcome back to my channel as uh, makeup examinations are already going on so probably on 11th of this month is the examination for the CAD subject computer aided engineering drawing as most of the students are struggling and they are getting backlogs in this subject and I have seen a lot of students my dear friends uh, since from first semester itself and they are not able to clear this subject due to their negligence they are not uh, practicing for the pro practicing for the problems a lot as there are a lot of problems which takes uh, one and a half hour to complete the problems if I take the case of projection of solid so definitely it needs one more than one hour to solve as it uh, there are 40 marks for this particular question you can easily predict okay how much time it will take over there and already you know if you have read the concepts of this particular subject okay so how can a student pass the subject which topics they should cover uh, comparatively which is the easier part which is the tougher part so go through like that and let me tell you one thing over here my dear friends there are no definite questions in this particular subject that i may tell you that this question will be in the examination but definitely i will share the uh, share some type of papers from the 18 scheme itself so uh, they will just uh, help you as far as the examination part is concerned over there okay so in the telegram group i will share those uh, question papers in which you can practice a lot of questions so that you will easily pass this subject and i will just discuss notes also from this particular subject uh, by which it will be clear to you people and you should not have any type of confusion then later on with these uh, three notes which i will discuss later on okay first of all there are the topics of uh, projection of points projection of lines and projection of plans among these three you can choose any one okay so you can go through the projection of plans or you can go through points and lines just because there will be sometimes two questions one from the points one from the lines and sometimes there will be the one question from lines 30 marks directly and projection of plans will be the 30 marks question over there right so comparatively projection of plans is easier one my dear friends <clears throat> so you have to go through the projection of lines and just don't focus on this part that is points and lines part leave it and just focus on projection of plans but before going to the projection of plans you should have concept of points my dear friends this is a basic topic uh, by which a student can easily understand the projection of plans over there so this is the important part as far as understanding is concerned okay if we take the uh, case of uh, what we call as points over here right <clears throat> then projection of plans as i already told you that it is the simpler part in which you have to focus on three points uh, first one is what next one is where and next one is how means what what means uh, is it a triangular lamina is it a square lamina like that in the questions it will be mentioned so first of all you have to focus on what part means what type of the lamina is over there then where where means it will be in the question uh, where it is resting is it resting on the hp is it resting on the vp accordingly you have to check it if it is resting on hp then you have to start your diagram from the top view itself okay as it is the reference plan if uh, there is the uh, square lamina or triangular lamina is given suppose i will take here this square lamina if it is given resting on the hp then i have to draw below the reference line if it is it was in uh, it was resting on the uh, vp over there then i have to start diagram above the reference line i hope these points are clear to you people this is the second point where then how how means uh, is it resting on a corner is it resting by a side like that you have to focus on so these three points are the important for all the topics which i will discuss later on projection of solids uh, isometric projection <clears throat> uh, not uh, as far as isometric projection is concerned but these two topics definitely these points will help you projection of plans and projection of solids okay so if you want to pass go through projection of plans first then if you have not understood concepts very well in this subject then definitely you have to leave projection of solids if you are not able to draw the drawings over there then you have to go for the isometric projection which is the very simpler part and you can easily draw it on the graph sheet and also in the system it, uh, in the system it is very easier part and also uh, drawing part if we consider so it is also easier part my dear friends so this consists of 30 marks and this also consists of 30 marks so 30 plus 30 that is 60 and it will get reduced you already know so there will be uh, <clears throat> 30 marks from it and passing marks is 18 you already know for the 2022 scheme okay so if you just write perfectly these two questions one is the projection of plans one is the isometric projection so you will get 60 marks but perfectly if you are writing if you are not writing perfectly if you are getting 50 to 45 marks uh, you can easily pass i can say but projection of solids is the main part in this particular subject this plays a bigger role if somebody knows how to draw the projection of solids 
uh, it carries 40 marks okay so dear friends uh, you have to go through this particular uh, what we call as a projection of solid spot okay so i will discuss some important points uh, by which it will become crystal clear for you people uh, how to tackle the problems okay so if i discuss about the notes dear friends uh, these are the most important three notes which you should remember and by these notes you can easily recognize what type of problem is this okay so first of all if you get like this interface when true length or diagonal or axes are inclined to both hp and vp in such cases it is required to determine apparent inclination alpha and beta you are supposed to calculate alpha or beta in such type of questions where you are given with the true length or diagonal or axis okay i will just show you some type of questions also so that you will easily understood these type of notes okay so when true length diagonal or axis is inclined to one plan that is hp or vp and appears to other plan hp or vp in such cases it is not required to determine the apparent inclinations alpha or beta in some questions you are uh, simply calculating the theta and phi over there right in some questions there is uh, necessarily you should calculate alpha and beta which are the uh, what we call as apparent inclinations okay let me show you first question over here so that you will easily understood <clears throat> my dear friends this is a square lamina of side 30 mm is resting on hp on one of its corner okay such that the diagonal passing through the corner on which it rests is inclined at 45 degree to hp uh, and appears to be uh, on vp at 30 degree draw the projections so which type of note it is if you just observe here this uh, appears is the option one here appears to be on vp okay to other plan means hp or vp uh, whatever it may be hp or vp okay and axis is inclined or diagonal is inclined but here is uh, such that the diagonal passing through corner on which it rests is inclined at 45 degree okay first condition is satisfied either diagonal either axis either true length but in but in this question the diagonal is given okay so diagonal is inclined to one of this plan that is hp or vp so hp is here okay and appears to other plan that is hp or vp but it is here appears to be on vp at 30 degree draw the projection so in this case it is not required to determine the apparent inclination so this is uh, the note by which you can recognize what type of question is this uh, can i draw the apparent inclination in this question is it needed or there or not so by these type of notes you can easily recognize so you have to remember these two notes my dear friends and last one but not least so third note is my dear friends that true length diagonal or axis is inclined to one plan hp or vp if question will be like that a square lamina of side 30 mm is resting on hp on one of its corner or side such that the diagonal or axis is inclined to one plan hp or vp and top view or front view of the axis is inclined so these type of questions will come up in the examination when you see this type of interface one is the diagonal is inclined or axis is inclined or true length is uh, inclined to one plan and top view of the question to, sorry top view or front view of the axis is inclined to other plan hp or vp in such cases also it is not required to determine the apparent inclinations <clears throat> so you don't need to go for the alpha and beta calculations or angles so these two notes where uh, you should not go for the apparent inclination is the note 2 and note 3 but in first case when the true length or diagonal or axis are inclined to both and this is the question uh, that square lamina is uh, inclined to both hp and vp in such cases it is required to determine apparent inclination so these are the three important notes which you should remember and practice a lot of problems over there so that it will become comfortable for you people to cover the subject <clears throat> so there are five days left now my dear friends so it is the enough time i hope so if you have no any other backlogs if you have only this backlog cad so for those students uh, they should start preparation from now itself and there are a lot of problems which takes a lot of time also okay so go through <clears throat> this uh, projection of plans if you feel comfortable and uh, isometric projection for passing but uh, it is not the safer si side my dear friends at least you should uh, cover some problems from projection of solids also so uh, prism is the important pyramid is the important part cylinder you can leave uh, cone you can easily leave and sometimes tetrahedron questions will uh, always also come in the examination i will just share the uh, papers lot of papers of 2018 scheme also my dear friends so those questions will come up in the examination and you should focus on so all the best for your examination